before I get started, let me show you the safety gear. So I've got this face mask that was made for um, working with a chainsaw. So it's going to keep my face safe from the spring if it lets go when it shouldn't. I've got these uh, leather gloves that ought to protect my hands from little cuts and bruises and things, cuts and scrapes. And I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and long pants. Okay, I have clamped the uh, loop end mainspring winder into this vise so it isn't going anywhere. At least that's the theory. Uh, that's not going to work because this wing nut, this clamp, goes here and the wing nut's on the other side. So maybe the clamp won't work. Let me play around with that a bit. Turns out there is a way to clamp all this. So um, I'm going to be putting this uh, mainspring winder over here in the clamp because I need access to the ratchet, the click here, when the this whole business is inside the uh, winder. So here's the deal. This um, Arbor has a bad habit of popping out of the wheel, and if it does, when I'm when I've wound this thing, it's going to be pretty messy. So uh, let's see. I had to drill out the uh, clamp uh, or the mainspring winder a little bit to make room for the bottom of the arbor here. So let's pop that in place. Let's pop that in place, shall we? Come on. Where do you go? You're in there. You're in there. Oh, but the Okay, so here's a problem that this arbor likes to come out and when it does, the click falls into a place where it won't come out again and I have to I have to pull this. Oh, there we go. I have to pull this out of the way to get the click settled in there. I mean the ratchet settled in there. Now that that's set, now I can plop this thing in here. I put the loop over that end. And then we try to get this arbor into the right place. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay. That's in. And, oh, I see what the problem was. I had the clamp already on. I don't want to do that yet. So let's pull this out. And now lift that up a little bit. Open this a little bit. A little bit more, and in it goes. And then I can tighten that down until the screw starts turning. Ah. Now that screw is going to hold the wheel and keep it from spinning, at least in theory. Again, keep that from spinning while I'm winding and unwinding the uh, the mainspring. So let me tighten that down a little bit. Okay, so I've got that tight. Okay, um, let me put this in place. Is that still in there? Yeah, everything's still in the right place. Yeah, good, good, okay. It's just the spring isn't real happy where it is. But okay, now I put that in the clamp. And something to notice about all this is that there's this line of destruction, <laughs> the line of unsafety here, which is where the spring's going to go when this clamp is off. And so I don't want to be crossing that line very often. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is tighten the spring so I can take the clamp off. So now's the point where I need to put the gloves on. Let me get those on there. <clears throat> okay, got all that on. Okay, and the mask, because this is a place where the spring could, I mean, the main spring could get away and really make a mess. Okay, and now I'm going to use my letdown key 
And the cool thing about the letdown is it doesn't have any wings or anything, so if it spins around in my hand, it's not going to do any damage. So, let me see if I've got the ratchet in the right place. There we go, yeah. So I can start winding this up. And that spring ought to kind of... Oops! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The ratchet is out. The click is out. So all I can do is kind of... Yeah, the click isn't holding. Which is going to be handy later on, but right now it's a little scary. So I'm just going to wind this up. Oh, okay, it's holding there. Oh, I see the wheel is loose. Oh dear. Okay. Do I really want to be doing this? Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a 30-day clock spring, a 31-day clock spring, so it's a real monster. It has a lot of power. Now I can almost get this clamp off. And this is actually a lot of work at this point. Now, oh, there's the clamp. It's loose. Okay, and I don't want to cross the line of destruction. But now, of course, cleverly, the click has latched. So I am going to have to cross my line here. And you know, I placed this in without paying any attention. Uh-oh. Now I'm in a big mess. Now I'm in big trouble. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can unwind this. Just as it stands. What has happened? Okay. It's okay, it's unwinding. We're okay. It's twisted. Man. Okay, there we go. Phew. Well that didn't go as planned, but it's it's unwound. So now you see the spring is totally safe here. Um, and if I twist this the right way, it'll even come off. But I'm not ready for that yet. Oops, whoa. Okay, so that's, that's one spring down, and I'll hopefully do the same with the, well, hopefully better with the second spring. Clamp number two. Clamp number two, and you can already see what the problem is, is the, the wheel gets loose here, gets free, and everything goes wonky. So I have to kind of keep pressure. Oops, I'm going the wrong way to keep pressure on the wheel, but even that doesn't really take care of this ratchet that's a little wacky, the click that isn't very good. So, so I'm just brute forcing. This is actually what a, a full-blown winder would do, is it would turn this handle without relying on the click of the here, and there it's loose enough to take this off, and then we let it down slowly, I'm keeping the thing in this time. So this is acting more or less like an actual real letdown of a spring. Okay, there it is, it's loose. Here are the springs, now that I've let them down in a really MacGyver kind of way. Um, and uh, the nice thing about this is that the springs aren't, uh, they call set. You know, they aren't, when they're loose, they're pretty open, as opposed to being tight. If the spring has kind of lost its spring, why that'll be the case. But these are both you know, really kind of, kind of open, which is good. And uh, so I found out that this, uh, a uh, low-cost way of uh, winding and unwinding springs uh, doesn't work very well at all if your arbor tends to pop out like this. So that's what happened in both cases is the arbor, instead of clicking away nicely there, ooh, now the springs come out. Um, oh good, it's still there, okay. So 
instead of the arbor being flat against the wheel and clicking away, why it, it had popped out some. And so the click didn't do any good anymore. It wasn't holding back the ratchet. So that's why that didn't work. So it looks like I'm going to have to buy a, a real uh, bench winder, uh, which is about 300 bucks, instead of the $10 uh, business I have here. So that's the mainsprings of this clock.